Class is in session. Professor Jay here. Welcome back. It is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Two Fire Emblem, three houses. I wasn't sure how the save point was going to work. So, we're continuing on, picking up where we left off. We just met this dude who apparently works at the school where the uh, students originated. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Alois. He looks like a grown man with a baby's face. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. Just a grizzled old man. These days I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. No means no. Garrig Mock Monastery. I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? Do I look like a kid just because I don't have a moustache? Uh, <laughs> he is a stranger to me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say that is correct. That's my dad. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. Oh wait, am I actually his kid? I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? This guy is pushy. Is this really my dad? What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Seros. Why do I have blue hair? Just like Marth and Lucina, Crom. The people with blue hair. It seems your presence is required. Oh, you're gonna you are my internal monologue? Okay. This is how we knew that I'm slowly going insane. I appreciate your help out there. Your skill is beyond question. Thanks, dog. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Gerald, the blade I thought I was making a like a joke, but yeah, apparently. He's also quite good at croquet. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating and none of my business. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Stop hitting on me, bro. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrick Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst. Of Aren't we whiny? That would be because you ran off. <laughs> Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. That's what we call it. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Yes, fight and cover my retreat, please. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. Well, here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the <laughs> Nope. Saving my own skin. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. Harsh. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you Oh! Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. He says as he winks at the camera. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. S okay. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? Yeah, he's taking some pills, you know, trying to work through it. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. Showed me I still have much to learn. Thanks, I read Sun Tzu's Art of War, so... Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own problem. <laughs> this is just like watching a political debate. Reclaiming my time. The Holy Kingdom of Vargas is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, 
Do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, there. You two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. Tactless, really. He just really likes to undercut people. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favor. <laughs> but it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... Okay, I did, a, uh, I did a poll for this on Twitter, and you guys decided for me we're going to be going with Adrestian Empire Land of Ancient History. So we're going to go with the Black Eagles. Make sure that if you want to participate in future polls and stuff like that, that you follow on Twitter and Instagram at Professor underscore J underscore Gaming. Actually, I think it's P-R-O-F, isn't it? Well, let me confirm that. Yep, at P-R-O-F underscore J underscore Gaming. So, we're going to go with the Adrestian Empire, so we're going to be with Edelgard, the white-haired lady. Yes! <laughs> a wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. <laughs> what a way to describe your homeland. Yeah, I'm going to be the queen of, you know, not as good of a country as it used to be, but we're still better than everyone else. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Okay, bye guys. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most... Especially Claude. Uh, oh, what? Well, I'm going to be going with Edelgard, so let's talk about her. She is a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. He's not really happy. I apologize if you guys are actually tired at home, because I'm sure that listening to a yawn doesn't help. Now what? Uh, giant great tree moon. White clouds. Great tree moon. Oh, I didn't have to read that. Three houses. <laughs> is that a? For a second, I was like, wait a minute. As the icy oh. winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, okay, okay. and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogland, heralding the start of a new year. Cool. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full. Potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Terrifying painting. Worst mural ever. Zero out of ten. The continent of Fodlin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty. The Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlin and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Relative harmony. I'm sure that won't be broken for some reason. Oh. Beautiful. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. We're having a moment. Now I can see why you can't customize your character because these cutscenes are so demanding. Garrick Mock Monastery. Mach 5. Welcome to Hogwarts, guys. 
This is where we keep all the dead people. And our candle collection. I'm Captain Mustache. Well, that was something. Yeah, I'm sure he's paying really close attention. Here we are, with my dad. Ray is here. Who dat? Is that an old flame dad? Hello. Is that my mom? Maybe. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? No, I walked. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. I mean, you weren't forced. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. You guys go way back. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. I'm getting a feeling that Daddy here isn't very religious. Thank you for your patience, Jack. My name is Seteth. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Seteth. Right. Hello. What a terrible name. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder... Was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? No, no, I walked here. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yeah, it was a miracle. I didn't do anything to uh, conceive him at all. Yes. Born many years after I left this place. I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Okay, so Rhea is not my mom. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Why did Rhea only put foundation on her cheekbones? Uh, hi, my name is... A fine name indeed. Professor J. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Hey, no problem. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Is it that the bird is the word? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Good, thanks! Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. God, what a name. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow. Farewell. Okay, bye. <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. You didn't put up much of a fight. Sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Yeah, requested in heavy air quotes, right? I must work here? <laughs> oh, as a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the officer's academy, right? Yeah, dog. Well, the academy just happens to be short of professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. I hope that my dad doesn't die. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome. Well, you're just laying it on thick from the very beginning, aren't you? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. She doesn't seem too dangerous. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Okay, you stay alive. Oh, it's you then? So young. What about it? and age are not necessarily correlated. As you well know. Hanuman. I am Hanuman. Hanuman. A crest scholar and professor at the officer's This academy. guy's a scholar of toothpaste? 
Let's see the teeth. I don't trust it. His mustache is covering the teeth. You guys know what they say about dentists, right? If there are two dentists in a town, which one do you want to go to? The one with good teeth or the one with bad teeth? You go to the one with bad teeth. Because guess who his dentist is? It's the other guy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Aren't we pushy? I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Wow. It's nice to meet you. Wow. Um, uh, which of these is more surprising? Let's not let's not profile. Let's be like, oh, sing me a song. You're the piano man. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Prove it. Perhaps you've heard of me. The Middle Funk Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Beautiful and peerless. Spare our colleagues the needless chatter, Manuel. I need to go oil my mustache. Charge of one of the academy's three houses. Yep, it looks like I already decided. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Not so much. Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. Thanks, Manuela. The officers' academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Yeah, you got Gryffindor. And Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, because no one here is a Slytherin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the That's Empire. Gryffindor. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next emperor. Nice. Well, Ravenclaw. House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fart. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fartus. And Hufflepuff! There is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. What a coincidence. The next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. <laughs> Hanneman here knows what's up. He's like, hmm, what, what a strange coincidence that... All three future rulers happen to be the heads of the houses at the same time. I say, I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. She's gonna talk mad smack in the teacher's lounge. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you have a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Rude. Okay. And keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. Everyone else is gonna be like, "Wait, this guy's teaching me. He's basically my age." I suggest you try spending time with the students. There's some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. I'm not sure if she's a good or evil. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy. Okay, shut up, Captain Chinstrap. I have made my decision, Seven. I know worrying comes naturally to <coughs> me, but there is really no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. Thank you very much. I come from a nice pedigree. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald's character? Is he not the man who went missing after the great fire 21 years ago? Is he not the man who also set that fire? I would remind you that Flame is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is a... Who or what is Flame? Set it. They have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. Yeah, who's in charge here, bro? More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Gareth Mock. Oh, we have a, a rotten apple in the bunch. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence.
I love to read books. Are we just having like a moment right now? Oh, he's a hungry boy. Oh, they look like a dour group, don't they? This guy has never seen the sun in his life. A sleepy boy. I like her fun hat. Not her, that's a book. Uh, allow me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're getting kind of a glimpse at everyone. They're fighting with wooden weapons. That's probably for the best. Sparkle, sparkle, he's a vampire! What up? I just stand here all day. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Alphysis Academy. Yes, ma'am. Correct to start. Please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. Okay. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. No, Once send me home. Finished, come and speak with me. Okay. May I ask a favor of you? Uh, la 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 la. Speak to the three house leaders and gather information about the students in each house. The students can be found in the reception hall, on the first floor, and throughout the academy. They're everywhere. Quests are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who can give or are involved with quests will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quests you have accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate their status. Icons for essential quests are red. Oh, I can't go up there. Hello. Ha. I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Yeah. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up. Events. Okay. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before. Huh? Nah. You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. This guy's a jerk. Now you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Doodle doo doo doo. That's the first floor. What's this way? Okay. These people won't actually talk to me okay. right now. They're all having their own conversations. Okay. So we'll talk to the three of these and then probably call it. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. Maybe I can do both. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Dresden. I'm not going to try and say that last name. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I believe I will. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Yes. Let's talk about you. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit Arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. And then we can see their ability in the top corner. That's cool. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. All right. Um. What about Hubert? Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestor. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold. Actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Yeah, he looks sick. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Ayo, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own staff. Okay, this guy's a chip on his shoulder. Good to know. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. 
He's also fond of, well, Matt. He's a sleepy boy. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's the second son of Count Gergles. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. We got Napoleon complex. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. She's the one who likes to wear a book as a hat. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. Oh. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. Isn't she fun in her hat? To the west of Bodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Cool. All right, and that's everybody. Hey, there he is. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I believe it's pronounced Leicester. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Claude is very chill. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yep. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Okie dokie. <laughs> he's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. Tuxedo mask with that rose. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Well, I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. He has the dumbest hair in the world. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. He needs a new shirt. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and actually that's about it. <laughs> okay. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Uh, he's definitely in the running for dumbest hair. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? She's a witch. May we burn her? Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. Who's that? And that's pretty much all I know about her. Well, okay then. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Huh. Hilda? Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddled her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. She looks like um, the pink-haired girl from uh, Tales of Symphonia. Is it Persea or something? Leone. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Okay. One house to go. Let's uh... see if we can find... Kitty! Okay. There he is. Hello. Hi, homie. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blated, Crown Prince of the Holy... Blated. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. 
And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. Okie doke. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I can't tell if you're genuine or just a brown nose. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? All of them! I have to learn about everybody. Me? Oh, um... Please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me. But I understand if that can't be helped. Ah. Oh, don't be shy. Dudu? Dudu was born in Duska and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. That man looks like he has definitely choked some people to death. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Like darts? He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. But I hear he was born a comic. He looks like Robin from a Fire Emblem Awakening. He has an extremely earnest personality. So I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. <laughs> Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. He likes the ladies. Like Mercedes. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Twelve out of ten for that hair. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. Okay. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oh, wonderful. That's, what, that's who you want on your team. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. She's the knightinest knight in the world. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I did the thing. Quest complete. I got some stuff. I should return to Rhea. Uh, in the interest of time, let's do that. We'll explore more later. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned. Well-intentioned. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. Yeah, yeah. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable, trackable history with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. I hope I get to kill him. The black eagles, the blue lions, and the golden deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Well, yeah. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining... Wait, nobody was in charge of any of these houses until the moment I got here? And it shows you all the friends. That's cool. Many are nobility. Most of them use magic. Most use value chivalry and excel at military arts. As per regional tradition, many are skilled archers. Well, you guys know, we said it earlier... You voted, and we're going with the Adrestian Empire Black Eagle House. So get used to these faces. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? I guess so. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. Totally. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Ugh. Brother? Oh, what is this? Sorry. I did not mean to 
Oh, this is Flame. I'm in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? Bouncica Wow Wow. Is she looking this at me? He's our newest professor at the academy. Oh my! A new admission to the officers' academy. I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. Whoa, you are way too excited. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Your brother could take a lesson from you in not being a total a-hole. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. What is it? In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between Woo! three houses intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Understood. new professors you i didn't see that one coming did you see it coming that this is going to be the end of the video what i'll make sure to uh pick up right here on the next episode of fire emblem three houses hope you guys are liking this if so make sure to like comment on it let me know what you're thinking so far share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already click that bell up in the corner that makes sure that you get notified about every video moving forward so i'll catch you on the next one Hope you're having a great day. Class dismissed.